Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines in our 2021 series. In the previous episode we made it to the next milestone with this district here. We are already quite far into the progression so we cannot expect too much more from this district. But I wanted to straighten out a few other things anyways first, one of which is going to be to adapt the train lines. For instance, this solar updraft tower. I would like to see this on the other side for that we have to downgrade this road. I really think two lanes are gonna be enough. I'm gonna do something with trees and then we're gonna have a couple of solar panels alongside. The first one we can place all the way over here. That should be good. Oh no, I will have to fix that. But then on the other side we'll have to take care of the entirety of the coastline. I actually want to do something magnificent with this river, including some ferries. The next step is going to be to fix this rail. Let me also get rid of that power line. I want this rail much closer to the industry. So instead we're gonna go straight across here. Now if we do things right, we should be able to smoothly connect up with the next one over here. We're then gonna downgrade this to some low income housing. Continue across here, raise this a little bit. Actually that's way too much. We just wanna go up slightly. And now we can easily traverse over here. I would like to see, yeah, that's what I wanted to see, some railing structures. Okay, not bad, looks much better. Maybe we can do something about this situation here. Yeah, I guess we should get started with this road. This is kind of crazy. Okay, this took me much longer than I care to admit. Let's just keep going. Now we want to just gradually bring this a little bit further away. We can then fill up the gaps with trees. Wonderful. Now this line already looks much better. Maybe we can spread this out a little bit so the ramp also looks good. Finally, a connection right there and we should be golden. Let's make sure we're not missing power. Mm, I think it actually looks good. We can unpause, everything should still be working. Okay, now this line is fixed. Let's take care of the next one. Let me see. Right over here, for instance, this is unusable. However, we only really need this line here for the passengers, so this doesn't need to be here. What I'm gonna do in this case is take away this intersection. Let's also redo this. We're gonna start from here and maybe first go straight a little bit. See if we can sneak below the highway later on. I don't really want to continue here. So somewhere along these lines I want to go through smoothly. Let's do half the curve. Uh, let me see, there's nothing in the way here. So we should be able to finish this. Nice. The industry rail on the other side can go ahead and skip this station. We want to connect this line later on. It might actually be worth making two train systems, one for the cargo, one for the passengers. I might do that in certain excluded spots, but for large portions they're also gonna share the rails. But yeah, in spots like this for instance, only cargo is gonna pass through. I'm gonna go ahead, bring the rail over here and I wanna lead it parallel to the highway. Somewhere along these lines we wanna raise the rail. So in the end we can go ahead and connect this please. No, there's a pillar of course. In this case, let's try a little trick. I should be able to do this. And then we're gonna move this over, make this more realistic. Actually, let's first connect it, see what we have to do. Yeah, if we move this over, we might be able to get this working. Just needed a slightly more realistic curve here. Okay, can I live with that? Yeah. I think we have to move this slightly up. Yeah, maybe just move this slightly up. Okay, wonderful. I'm actually happy with that connection. Let's unpause the game again. Everything should be connected again. And now obviously cargo trains that want to go straight will still take this line because it is much shorter. Hmm, looking at this, it doesn't really make sense. We're crossing the highway only to cross it again. So realistically, we should have the rail over here, even though this is gonna diminish the living quality a little bit of my precious residents. But there we go, they will just have to learn to live with it. This new routing maybe also gives me the opportunity to zone more? No, not really. Ah, there we go, I just had to move this road a little bit and now it worked. So if I move this guy here, maybe this node one bit over, then undo that step. Yeah, there we go, now we're actually getting the zonable stuff. Gonna get rid of all of these so they rebuild something more respectable. I do not even need this power line anymore. This is great. Now the city parts are connected. <laughs> ah, we, we do not have enough power. How come? We had more than enough just a minute ago. 
Ah, okay, so it's not the power, it's the water we're lacking here. Interesting. You get some water, no problem, but I think it's time for another updraft tower anyways. So we're gonna install our second one right next to the first one. Now electricity is doing great again, more than enough reserve. Also, we actually used the wrong water treatment plant here. Let's maybe get rid of that too. We wanted the echo water treatment plant. Um, can I get that at the same spot? Not really. And I think we might need the fourth one as well. Yeah, looks like four are gonna do the trick at least for the next 10k or so people, which I believe we can reach in today's episode, which would be the last milestone, and therefore we will be able to get access to the entirety of the map. Now there are a couple of things that annoy me about vanilla. Lane mathematics absolutely do not matter to the AI. For instance, if I make this a one lane road, then we make the upper one two lanes, so they have overall three lanes, they are still not behaving like people would in the real world. Like they all go on this single lane, and I know it has something to do where they want to go in the end, but this should just not happen. So I gave in and installed Traffic Manager for these situations where the AI is just not doing what they should do. So let's make this three-way again, but we're only gonna really use two lanes. And then we're gonna make this two lane here. We go into Traffic Manager and all we want is the Lane Connector tool. Before connecting these, we can already see the problem two lanes plus three lanes is not three lanes. For this intersection, however, it's only important that the vehicles merge the correct way and from the top I still want it to look kind of symmetrical. So we're not gonna do perfect lane mathematics, it's also not very important in my opinion. But yeah, from these two lanes we want to go down to one lane. So both of these lanes can only use the right lane here, but I have some more space for them to queue up on both lanes. We're then going to use the very right lane in order to go into the center and the two left over lanes are going to use the most left lane in the end. If we now go out of this mode, we should see a dramatic change in flow. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Why can't this happen in vanilla? The problem about fixing junctions with Traffic Manager is sometimes that you only shift the problem. For instance, they now use this very node here in order to change the lanes. In most cases this is just temporary until the traffic has cleared up for the very first time. In this case that is exactly what is happening. So this should now be good as of this point. Let's focus on the next intersection. For instance right here they only use the right lane into a road that has two lanes. Obviously this is not really what we want to see. Preferably they already decide which lane they want to go to very close after this intersection. Let's say we're gonna use this lane here and then like so and so. We also connect this lane over here and this lane over there. And then we want them to go straight for as long as possible. So right here if we just shift click or was it? Wait. I know actually this control S not shift click. But we can force them to go straight in the node and they will not do a lane change here. And then we still have two leftover nodes. Before we do anything with those let's make sure we first get the desired result. Okay, now they're trying to change two lanes at a time, which of course is the worst thing they can do right now. So in this case, only the middle lane should be able to switch to the outside lane. And then both of the outside lanes need to go straight. And then one note before that, we give the outside lanes the possibility to switch. So they can switch to the center here. They can also go straight if they want to, but the center also has to go straight. So now they will distribute the merging a little bit. Actually, looking at this, I believe I'm already gonna allow people to merge to the center here, but then they cannot do the same thing over there. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have to fiddle around with it a little bit. I actually took it to the next extreme. They can just be forced to go straight and they still have the opportunity to go into the correct direction. Because right at this intersection they have to decide and they can both go to the center line, which then goes into both directions. This is great. So now we have to do the very same thing over here, of course, because they are also not merging the correct way. Also, I just saw some cars disappear. I think we're gonna stop this now. Toggle despawning. Yeah, so now cars are not going to despawn anymore, which is gonna make the analysis a little bit more representative. Right here, I think it is clear. We just wanna use both lanes. Then here, we're gonna have two lanes for you. 
And yeah, we're also going to do two lanes here. Now we come all the way over here, go across the highway. And the next intersection is just right here. Let's see what they are doing. Ooh, this almost looks like one of my famous temporary intersections. Yeah, look at that. They're actually doing something that is not even allowed. That is so intriguing. I want just this lane over here. And then we have, yeah, you can do both and you can do both like so, I guess. Okay, fixed the behavior here as well, which should clear up the entirety of the traffic now. <sighs> of course, of course. I'm gonna be right back. Cheeky little bastards. That is much more like it. Thank you very much, guys. I think with the no despawning on, there are gonna be other things we might want to take care of. My intention is not to use Traffic Manager all the time as a standard solution. It's rather to be better able to analyze everything and more importantly to fix the AI behavior. But we can see certain problem areas much better now with the despawning off. For instance, these guys here are struggling intensely. Yeah, look at that. It's whenever people attempt to merge here. Currently, the biggest problem area is my cargo station right here. Because of this access point right here, obviously this is a huge contributor, but we knew that when we built the station first. Um, let me first of all just get rid of this access point altogether, and that might already clear up my issues. Another thing I noticed is that they will merge much smoother on intersections, so if they don't manage to behave correctly at merging on highways, just allow all directions inside of the intersections. Right now they have access to all lanes from all lanes and therefore I should be able to straighten out all the other lanes and make this baby smooth. Because for some reason the behavior at intersections is much smoother when they need to change lanes. And will you look at that? Just cleared up. Yeah, for that traffic manager is really good so you can disable the despawning and really see the problem areas in your city. Yeah, this is really good. Traffic flow of 66%. We can get that easily back up over 80%. But now you can see the difference between vanilla and traffic manager traffic. So I also did some lane fixing here. Next up, we're gonna take care of this highway. So this is going over here. They could go through this intersection smoothly, but they decide to do some merge insanity before that. Yes, the way they are queuing up is much better. Now we have to fix this. Just the left and right lane is probably not good. They have the possibility to merge here, I think. So I'm just gonna make sure they have access to all lanes here. They need to decide for the correct one at this point. And then the final intersection is gonna be a little more dedicated. Hooray! Merging here is still great. This intersection also works. Now we have to take care of the next problem. So a lot of people are getting off the highway only to get on again. Ah, look at that. This is the issue. <sighs> Jeez, this lane management, it is gonna drive me insane. It's always my downfall. Also, why are people crossing the street here? This is a highway ramp. I guess one more thing we could try is make this one-way road. Yeah, I'm not gonna break anything, am I? No. Nope. Now, at this point, the biggest problem are the people. I'm gonna try something. If I just move this slightly over to the last houses. Let's see, uh, we still got this zoned more or less. Okay, looking good. Now all we have to do is upgrade this road. Uh, was this the one-way road? No, I needed a two-way, one-way, what, what? Ah, two-way with sound barrier. Gonna place this highway piece there. And this should prevent people from walking. Ah. <sighs> Finally, but I believe we can deal with that. People are now actually using the pathway I gave them. And just like that, the traffic is clearing up. This is so great. I love Traffic Manager for that regard. It actually shows me the problems. Vanilla doesn't do that, it just despawns. Traffic already at 73%. Let's find the next problems. Oh no, I don't even want to look at that. So that is going to be my next target to fix. Definitely. Look at that. Everyone is already dead. And of course this happens because of the despawning. The horses can actually not reach their targets anymore. Traffic is standing still here. But by the end of the episode, I'm sure we get this to 80% again. Usually it's easy fixes that you have to do. But before I kind of felt annoyed by the behavior of the vanilla AI. So I decided it's time to chip in with Traffic Manager. Of course in the beginning causing a few more problems than we had before. But overall we will be happy with a more representative analyzing tool and possibilities to bring these rope patterns together. 
Alrighty, we are back. It is now the next day of recording and I think I achieved something good, at least for the time being. Brought it all the way up to 77% with no despawning on. In certain scenarios, I had to be a little more creative. For instance, right here, I have set up a timed traffic light so that we can let through a whole bunch of people at the same time. As you can see, they're all going through, choosing the correct lane. And then as of this point, they don't have to choose another lane anymore. And so now this seems to be working wonders. That also means this entire traffic jam is now over. What I'm still struggling with is the city here. I did change a little bit in which directions they can go, but you can clearly see that this is not optimal at the moment. Yeah, they're just struggling too much to get through here. Maybe if we set up a traffic light... Oh, actually, I already have that. Hmm... What if we take it away? Actually, in this case, it looks like it is going a little bit quicker. But yeah, definitely something we need to take into consideration. Another problem area is this one here, obviously, with the cargo station that we have going on here. But currently, it's not even that bad. Also, we've just reached the 50 million bank balance mark. Not too shabby. I don't think I've ever had this much money in the game. Yeah, honestly, everything else is smooth enough as long as we are hovering around the 80% mark. While despawning is disabled, I'm pretty happy. So I think that's gonna be good, but every now and then, at least every five episodes or so, we will have to fix the traffic as of this point, otherwise it's just getting out of control. Yeah, honestly, also this park is looking rather good. You don't always have to have a proper flow. What you must prevent is vehicles from queuing up too much. Anyways, let's keep on expanding a little bit. It is now time to zone this industry a little bit more. Just wanna zone a little something here. This is so confusing with the whites sometimes. Okay. Also, we probably want another road here so we can eventually fill this up. Now, another recommendation that I've received is setting up maybe some bus depots. So, for instance, we could set up bus depots from the residential area to the commercial district. And that reminds me, I want to set up a huge commercial district here. Let's prepare that already. Uh, let me think. In order to prepare that, I want to unlock this tile here. This is also the one that I'm going to use in order to boost my population to 70k and therefore unlock everything. However, now we could set up a normal junction in this place. That means I'm going to get rid of all of this shebang. I need the space now. So all of you can go... Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Some of you are highly irritated by the highways that I'm making, so let's just go with a normal highway in this case. Um, let's see, I think I have to continue at least one road a little bit, maybe up to this point, and then we can switch to the... Yeah, look at that. Now I can place it absolutely perfectly. And so here we are with our first cloverleaf interchange. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna connect this for now. Obviously, that is not gonna be how we want it in the end. And then what is going to happen in the future is we are actually gonna continue the highway into this direction. And this is gonna be great. We want to move across the river into the forest here. Look at that. It's crazy forest. But yeah, I definitely also want to expand towards this side, towards the mountains here. That's going to be great. And especially towards the mountain here. And look at that volcano. It's just amazing. Ah, this is actually perfect. In the future, this part here is also going to be residential. And we can make a gradual change from low density to high density. This is going to be great. This residential part is already at its maximum size. Maybe we can do something about this part. I rather would like this to be a forested area of some sorts, I think. And then we're also going to decorate the coast. It's going to make more sense. But the most important part is that right here, in the part that is still free, just ignore the uh, weird roads. But in this part here, we want to make a leisure center of some sorts with tourist attractions and everything. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. Did I just see traffic lights here? I think I did. Yeah, these are utterly unnecessary. They are even a hindrance, if you ask me. We drop back down to 72%, but it's actually not that bad. Since we have despawning disabled, we have to think about that a little bit differently. When I first enabled the mod in today's episode with the despawning, it went all the way down to 55% before we did the fixes. But yeah, sometimes you just have to be a little bit creative and everything is gonna be fine. I've never had any traffic jams here ever since. 
As a matter of fact, right here, we could do some more lane mathematics. So for instance, this here would be upgradable. Let's maybe get this out of the way a little bit so we can accomplish that. Wonderful. And so all we want is to upgrade this part and that is going to give us a tiny bit more space to work with. So now also the lane mathematics makes sense. We have three lanes going into two and one separate lane. Right here, it doesn't add up anymore, but lane mathematics really, it's only necessary if you have one specific goal in mind. And maybe this more important for scenarios like this, where you have a main road branching off into several other roads. So you might want to start with the thickest road and then narrow it down. But yeah, usually I feel like lane mathematics is hold too dearly. It makes sense for the real world but the AI behavior is not always what you expect. Now, I can still see one big problem here. So this seems to be accumulating right now. Every now and then it is also improving, but overall it's not working. It could actually be an easy fix because the main reason is just this road. Everyone and their mother wants to go through the industry using one single road. I wonder, what if we changed this road to be a one-way? So they can only go into that. Does that make sense? They still have access to everything else, right? Yeah, this could be a one-way and I'm not destroying anything. Uh, let's just make sure this is also happening. Should be one way all the way down. Okay, on pause, see how the reaction is. Yeah, looks like they will manage to go through a little bit quicker. Not sure yet. Wow. Check this out, this actually truly helped. I just need to wait a little bit for it to clear up now, but this definitely helped. Oh my gosh, more cars are coming, I need to hurry up. Yeah, it looks like this section here is still a little bit problematic. Let me swap this around. What if I can only go into that direction? Ooh, that means some buildings here are only reachable through the loop. Yeah, I think now I made some buildings unreachable, but I could make them reachable again by, for instance, connecting this with a one way. This road is going to be used seldomly, but now they have a quick way to turn around in case they need to. Yeah, it looks like we're now going through the phase where traffic is going to be an ongoing issue that we have to deal with every now and then. Just know that I'm always dealing with it. And sometimes if I find it interesting or informative, I will talk about it with you. So you actually know what kind of fixes I'm making. Okay, from the looks of it, I could really use a traffic light here. This doesn't seem to be working on their own. All the cars are just standing there. Also, this road, I'm afraid, needs to be a one-way and it needs to go into the other direction. Yeah, we still have access here. That's good. I didn't take anything away. I just wanted to make this intersection less busy because that is the main reason this entire thing is happening here. It's crazy. Can I upgrade this road here too? Yeah, I think that this is definitely going to help. All right. Well, you look at that. It does look much smoother now. All the cars don't have to queue up anymore. There is a slight problem here now that we might be able to fix with traffic lights so it goes a little bit smoother in certain areas but check this out it did help we're now at 75 percent my goal as stated is going to be 80 percent but for that we have to make more drastic changes for instance highway entries and exits needs to be replaced a little bit but that is something we can easily take care of for now, I'm happy that I was uh, more or less able to save the situation. We have a weekly income of 100k at the moment. This is the perfect moment to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.